Danger Dolan. From the key to clearing up foggy mirrors to airport luggage you will never lose again, we count 20 real life hacks that may solve a few of the problems you didn't even know you had. Number 20. Whiten your laundry with eggshells. This is a nice alternative to bleach when you whack all your dirty clothes in the washing machine. Not as effective as bleach, but it's free and it's all natural. You put some of the empty eggshells into a muslin cheese cloth bag and put them inside the machine, and then follow up with all of your white clothes and they should come out visibly whiter. Number 19. It's the hardest thing in the world to untangle hair-ridden brushes, but there is a method using something you might not expect. A toothbrush. After you snag out the clumps of hair with tweezers or scissors, you put the brush in a bowl of soapy hot water. Then you scrub it with a toothbrush, you let it soak, and it'll turn out as clean as the day you bought it. Number 18. It's the age old question of how to get rid of hiccups. Most claim scaring the person works or holding your breath, but doctors will tell you actually, if you drink from a bottle of vinegar, that tends to work quite well. However you choose to ingest it is up to you. Some prefer apple cider vinegar or a shot of malt vinegar, or even just swig from the bottle of pure vinegar. Your hiccups will always disappear. Number 17. We've all had that problem where you forget you take your phone out of the pocket before you put it into the washing machine, or you go for a dive in a lake and you come out with a broken phone. The solution, apart from just letting it dry over a long time, is to soak it in a Ziploc bag full of rice for 24 hours, where the rice will absorb all the moisture inside the phone and dry it out ultra fast. Fantastic if you really, really need your broken phone and you can't bear to wait a week or a month. Number 16. If you happen to be painting a house and you don't have any sticky or duct tape handy, there's an easy cheap alternative you might never have considered. You can use aluminium foil to wrap wall objects so they're paint free while you're brushing every square inch around it. With the bonus that you don't get any leftover stickiness or risk of the object burning because, you know, aluminium foil. Number 15. This one is handy if you're in school and you happen to lose a lot of pens because you turn around for 5 seconds and 8 different people have stolen your pens. Just replace the red ink cartridge with that from a blue ink pen. People are going to assume it's a red pen and will, according to widely accepted statistics, avoid stealing it because most students write with a blue or black pen. It seems strange, but when you think about it, there's no reason why it shouldn't be true. Number 40. Put off with a towel, just blast it with a hairdryer and all the fog will evaporate within seconds. Then you can look at yourself and feel fat with remarkable visual clarity. Number 13. This one is awesome and I wish I knew about it growing up. It is possible to use AAA batteries, the really thin ones, in AA slots using a simple trick. If you have some tin foil handy, you roll them into little balls and you slot them in the gaps left by the AAA batteries in AA slots. They will power whatever you need providing you don't have alternatives handy. I would have loved knowing about this growing up with a Game Boy. Number 12. Always a pain unplugging a USB cable from your computer only for it to fall to the floor under your desk and god knows where. But if you have some bulldog clips lying around, just attach them to a desk or table and thread your cables and wires through them. Easy access, nothing gets lost, and you can even place some name tags on each clip to organize what each wire does. Number 11. Everyone in the world carries the same beige, blocky piece of luggage overseas, so when the conveyor belt comes around, it's a case of spot the dirt on the footpath. One simple solution is to give it an identifying feature. Attach a bright piece of fabric to your luggage. It might save some time if you're sick of watching the belt go round and round. Number 10. Losing a button on your shirt is the worst, and unless you have an Easy Express sewing machine handy, it's often better to avoid it rather than keep fixing it. Nail polish usually helps here. Just squirt some directly into the button holes. It won't prevent it from snapping off if pulled, but it will certainly stop the button from unraveling off the rest of your clothing. Number 9. When you board a plane, almost every single surface you touch will be riddled with germs. But there are a couple of things you can do to almost completely avoid coming home from a holiday feeling sick. 1. You bring some sanitizer and use it before every meal or drink. Then you use it after you wash your hands in the bathroom since airplane sinks are notorious for pathogens. And 2. You position the air ventilator above you to directly over your mouth to blow the air in front of your personal space away, thereby creating enough current to knock away any airborne chair germs that might be hanging around for quite a while. Number 8. 
a problem that's becoming less relevant but still useful, scratches in your DVD making the movie pause and glitch constantly. The solution is you unpeel a banana and then rub it all over the disc, and then when you're done, you buff it clean with the outside of your banana peel. For some reason this fixes all these scratch marks and it should just work fine from then on. Number 7. There's going to be a lot of times when you're feeling nervous, maybe going for a job interview or meeting someone for a date or waiting at the doctor's office. If you start chewing gum, your body takes over to instinctively say, hey, you're eating food, that means you're not in danger, and thereby your body gets less tense and you start feeling calm. And if you take minty gum, even better, it'll relax you and freshen your breath at the same time. Number 6. So many times you've got a movie on your phone and you're trying to watch it on an angle, but the thing you placed your phone on keeps slipping and your phone keeps falling and you gotta keep fixing it. But all you need to do is place it inside your glasses, and it should remain steady providing you're not trying to watch it on top of a raging windy mountain. Number 5. This one only applies if you drive a car, and you know how much of a pain in the ass it is to pull into a petrol station and realise you're parked on the wrong side. You're supposed to fill your car on the other side. Something you might not know is that the arrow on your fuel gauge will always point to which side the tank is located. Remember this one, and it will save you from the turn of shame. Number 4. It always sucks when you're cooking for two and you might need to wait 5 or 10 minutes for something to cook, but here's a simple hack for two. Just balance one bowl on a cup and elevate it above the other. Just remember to check that both bowls and cup are microwave proof before you do this though. Number 3. A cheap alternative for those with a proper sandwich griller or oven handy. Just knock your toaster over sideways, spread some cheese over bread and carefully place them inside. It turns into a poor man's cheese sandwich griller, or maybe even just a quirky little alternative to regular grilling, whatever takes your fancy. Number 2. A pencil sharpener can be used for much more than sharpening pencils. If you carry it with all your other equipment or in a survival kit in case you get lost, it's an excellent survival tool. You can sharpen small twigs using the razors, and the shavings are actually useful as tinder to start fires. It'll keep you alive at least until the pencil sharpener razors get blunt, then you're screwed. Number 1. If you're the schmo that needs to take the bins out every week, you probably already know that the bag is a soggy, stinky mess that's probably stained the bottom of your bin. But there's a simple workaround here. Just place an old newspaper on the bottom of your bin and it will absorb all the food and drink juices that drip down. Unless you actually like cleaning the congested gunk out of the bottom of your bin, in which case you probably need another hobby. That's it for this countdown. And have a good one!